Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And apologies for the um, lateness of this episode coming out. I've just been with COVID, so um, not been very well actually. Um, so I had to take a little bit of a break, but I'm back now. And I thought, um, well, I was able to play a little bit um, during my COVID um, period. So, so I made some progress, but I thought I never actually show you how I put the youth team together. And our youth team is actually doing pretty well. Let me just show you. Uh, how they've been doing this year um, so as far as the FA Cup for the youth should be up here somewhere uh, fourth round they reached the fourth round they lost against Chelsea five to three which is pretty good I think for the cup for the division cup they've reached the final and um, won five to two against Stockport and they managed to finish second of their division with Bristol miles ahead. Uh, so Bristol completely dominated since the beginning. They've already been crowned champions, even though there's still a few, um, like three matches to play or something like that. So uh, our youth team is doing pretty well. Our youth kind of has just arrived. Well, they haven't ju ju just arrived. They've arrived recently. They've played a match against our youth. And the routines, um, some of them have been employed already. Um, the, the recommended um, players have been offered a contract already. There's still a few left, so I'm going to show you how I put my youth team together. Uh, first, first things first, I order all of them by age. And that's so I can move all the ones that are not going to be playing next year up to the end of 23s so all of these are going to be too old i'm gonna to have to go and have a look at the um at the uh, 17 year olds too and there's a there's a rule isn't there how old they can be i think let me just go to the league again so it's any player so this will be a year on but yeah so any player from the f um 18 on the before the 1st of September so I'm gonna have a look to see if any of these birthdays happen before the 1st of September so between April which is the month we're in now and the 1st of September if they do that means they'll be too old to play in the in the next season so Callum Barker when's your birthday you're fine Charlie Fine, your birthday's just happened. Adam. Uh, okay, so he's fine by a few days. Also fine. Also fine. Also fine. There might be none. That'll be a coincidence and also quite annoying. Okay, so here's one. So his birthday will be 18 on the 5th of, Ju of June, so, of July, so you'll have to be moved to the end of 23s, but I can't remember where I was now, I think you might be this guy, also another guy who needs to be moved up to the end of 23s, because his birthday's in June, uh, let's see, yeah, this guy too, Woodhouse, Okay, this guy is birthday is in a few days. So he'll be 18, like literally a few moments. So let's move him to the end at 23s too. Right. So now these are all the players that can play for us next season. Did I check here? Okay. All of these. Now the next thing that I do, I order them by potential. And then secondary by ability. Um, and then finally by age, but age, uh, I can't remember, is it age, age backwards? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on uh, these two guys. Yeah, that's it, age backwards. So the youngest ones first and then the oldest. Um, and then I kind of start filling positions. Uh, some of the players I retrain um, and then anyone who doesn't make the cut, who has already have a contract, is moved up to the end of 23s, and I'll deal with that later in the summer. And then these guys, I presume, will all be 
terminated their trials because they're probably too far down to get a position granted. First of all, let's worry about goalkeepers. How many goalkeepers do we actually have? We have two. Okay. Nice. Now, this guy, I almost guarantee... Okay, he's a striker. Hmm. Nice. So, striker. He's a central defender. Why does it keep defaulting to that guy? Hang on. Let's see if I can... Okay. Okay, this is doing something weird. But anyway. Uh, Patsy, he's another striker, so he's going to be a number 11 substitute. Uh, Ivor is a midfielder. Callum, it could either be a midfielder or an attacker, so we'll keep an eye on that. You're going to have to be a right forward. You're a left fullback. Left forward. Centre back. Uh, also a right. So that means he's an eight. I think. Yeah, eight. Okay, you're going to be a nine. Potentially. We've got an option there to move Callum to, um, to a six. Or to a seven, rather. Another centre defender, so he's going to be a three. Okay, you potentially have a first defensive midfielder. Uh, okay, you're also a striker. So you, he's, he's going to, might be one of those that might do some retraining. Because I don't have a position ready for him. Uh, got another one here, but he can just be left. Um, okay. We've got our first fullback there. Uh, okay, got another one. No position for him. You're going to be a two. Uh, I've got two more spaces left. Okay, plenty of potential here for this guy in positions. And plenty of the position here. Okay, so I'll sort out retraining for those guys at another point. But basically what I want to do now is transfer all these other peeps, actually just two of them, to the under 23s. And then... <coughs> Excuse me, still have a little bit of COVID left in me. Um, and then these guys, they are going to be terminated. And then I come back at another point and I sort out uh, retraining and all of that kind of stuff uh, for the next season. I also do individual training as well at this point. But for now, oh, sorry, I'm going to leave it like that actually. But for now, let's we'll just continue. Let's try and catch a match as well. So these guys have all been released. And we've got some good talent, some top talent, and some elite talent. Apparently our best player is Patsy O'Hara. So let's have a look at him. Meh, not that great. Okay. Average squad now, yeah. In comparison with previous years, the the um the intake it hasn't been as good but we've got a very strong squad probably because we have loads of numbers we've got too many players in this squad now we need to trim this down but that happens in the summer okay and for our next match we're going to play crew on the way match against crew so let's see how that goes <clears throat> okay, let's select our team. So, our main goalkeeper's been injured, 
and he's out for another two weeks. So we're going to play with our backup goalkeeper. We already played with him last um, game. Nothing to change here. Nothing to change here. Uh, we've had a pretty good rest as well between matches, so there's there's no need to rest anyone at this point. Um, so I'm actually no, let's keep it. Need to bring Brown back up. Yazzy. Okay, I think that's it. Let's just check our bench as well. So we have someone for the right. Da -da -da. Okay. I'm going to bring Bradley in. Take that guy out. Um. <clears throat> Okay, so we got all the positions that I just need to take Waterstone out and I'm gonna put in white. So we have some options there. And we're gonna go to it. Let's see how it goes. So we've actually been doing pretty well recently in terms of matches. I didn't actually show you, I forgot. Um, but yeah, we, we're doing quite, quite well. I managed to gain quite a few positions up to 10th, um, which has been great. Uh, our goal this season is to do better than last season. So we're definitely doing better than last season um, at the moment. Very uneventful game so far. Okay, time to make some changes now. Um make all four, uh, three changes uh, change the attack around defense is doing pretty well so let's just put different people up in attack see if that works our main goalkeeper being injured it's time for our backup goalkeeper to try and make an impression um, I think he's probably trying to do that. <clears throat> oh, and there was only one change uh, in the January review. Doyle, um, his, his, his loan was only f until January, so we lost him. And we got uh, another player, which I'll show you now. Uh, to play on the left side um, of attack, so in the um, wide target man position. Just got a, like a, it's not a very good replacement because we have absolutely no wage budget, so anyone we could loan in for no fee, uh, that's essentially who we got. And we didn't have any youth players really able to, to take on that role full time, so so we had to go and outsource someone for for a free loan. Okay, we got about two minutes plus extra time to try and score a goal here. Mm. 
we're being lucky at the moment that the crew guys can't seem to aim at target that much but I'm happy with a draw let's just show you the replacement <clears throat> that I got for Doyle and then as you'll see he's not a very very good replacement but it'll do for now uh, so uh, Jamarni Langlais English guy uh, from Chester well playing in Chester at the moment um, started out in Bristol and yeah so the, the statistics aren't very good I, f physics are okay uh, the physical side of it is okay but uh, the technical side of it is basically hanging by a thread um, the only decent thing you can do is head the ball which uh, to be fair I don't think we really need uh, yeah okay it's one of the requirements but yeah crossing is shocking uh, not great in this area either so and that'll be all for today I'm gonna go and sort out that youth uh, with all of the retraining uh, the positions retraining and also sort out that individual training for the different uh, attributes and skills so I'll, I'll do that now and you know also sort out some training for the uh, the senior squad as I've just seen they've got a lot of rests coming up so I'm gonna make sure I fill those rests with um, something a bit more productive I'm probably not gonna come back for the end of the season just because um, you know we kind of know where we're gonna end up uh, well anywhere between 7th and 16th I doubt it will go up to 7th so I doubt it will make the playoffs so there's not much point coming to show you not not much to see you've got three matches left so i'll see you at the beginning of the next season uh, and we'll go from there thanks so much for watching until the end don't forget to like and subscribe you can also check out the patreon if you want to support the channel thanks so much take care and bye, -bye.